Alright guys, it is me, back again. Um, as you can see, I've shifted some things around. Um, I got my brand new uh, desk in for my birthday. It's an L desk, so I thought it might be good to have some new changes that kind of went around. Uh, you see my windowsill behind me with all my little knickknacks and trinkets. Um, I don't know if this is going to be the way it stays, but for right now, this is how it is. My back is killing me because I've been working so hard today. Um, and I feel like I'm going to end this day playing some Pathfinder. Um, I've got my other screen over here so I can actually see um, what's recording. So my, my main screen is here, so hopefully you can see me straight on. Um, I do know that my oldest was asking me why um, I was doing that. Um, so, yeah, there's there's that. So, um, where we left off is we've done a couple of other stuff over here. We've gone to the, the cemetery, we've gone to Canabras, um, we have gone over to do Zachariah's uh, new stuff. Um, we need to try to find our way. Someone is on the road. Oh, okay. Magical anomalies are common in the world of Galarian, so common that the use of the word anomaly itself is questionable. A regular city dweller will encounter a chaotic manifestation of supernatural power at least once in their lifetime. One might actually assume that the strange sky, the ghostly fire from rifts in the ground, the rain of eyeballs, all that world wound is known for, should find some purchase in the mortal mind. But even the most worldly travelers feel uneasy at its borders. Why, perhaps? Instinctively, they understand that this place is not merely a magical wasteland, but a wound. An ulcer. Through which the world itself bleeds into the abyss. The commander and his army walk up the high bank of the West Selen River, where it draws near the border of the world wound. The soldiers' feet halt, unbidden. On the other bank rises a series of cliffs, too regular in shape to have been formed by a wind or water. The sky hangs over their sharp edges and sickening bends, the shade of mercury on the horizon, rising to dirty rust. As it arches above the soldier's head, it regains its familiar azure hue. A whisper three sweeps through the ranks and soon turns into a grumble. The commander gives a signal to wait and climbs to the highest point along the bank. There, he decides to... Diplomacy! Because I'm persuasive. Uh, which reminds me, I didn't change my character class at all. I I'm going to... I don't know. I may do it later, but right now I'm sticking with the monk. Um, establishing rapport with his troops, yet another battle that the leader must face. Through the subtle alchemy of words, one can win trust and raise morale, or lose face and authority. Addressing the army on the border of the world wound, the commander re seeks to establish himself as a military leader of this new battleground. And his efforts prove fruitful. The soldiers listen dutifully, smiles appearing on their faces. Someone in the ranks jokes that the demons are growing tired from waiting for them. The army keeps moving. Lines of soldiers step warily beneath the shroud of low black clouds. It's like the whirlwind has reached out a finger into the lands of Medivh. The gesture seems eerily harmless. But then, the clouds come to life, shooting out howling tornadoes one after another. The tornadoes come from all sides, from ahead, behind, and right above the soldiers' heads. The power of the elements is on one side of the scales, the soldiers' faith and inspiration on the other. It's plain to see which is greater. The determined army runs the gauntlet of tornadoes. The struggle lasts over half an hour, but the army's only losses are a few bags of supplies and a dozen hats whipped off into the sky. After stopping to catch their breath, the soldiers continue on. The first encounter with the world wound has ended in their favor. 24 experience and a plus 10 to morale. Nice. It wasn't really somebody in the road, though. All right, we're going to go ahead and rest. We're going to do that. We're going to get a hearty meal. Um, I don't have anybody here that's going to help me with that at the moment. So, yeah, let's rest. Uh, 
So, in the last game, they had um, kingdom building mode, right? In this one, you're supposed to be able to do like a sort of turn-based war mode, um, where you are the commander. Um, that is something that will be that we will actually get into in this game as we get a little further on. So. Uh, I'm exhausted, honestly. We do have some corruption, though. All right, let's continue over here to the campsite. Because we do have... Uh, we do have the person that's supposed to be here. Okay, I forgot. Yep. It's Can't hide from oh. Me. Always loot. We're finally here. Ellen and Carl must be Ellen and Carl must be around here somewhere. And Jenna too, if they gave her permission to leave. Ah, there they are. Aha! Elan of the Hound Hearts. Greetings, Scylla, and greetings to you, Knight Commander. Okay, Jenna. Ellen is feeling a little shy. He thought he asked for help from a couple of nobodies like us, but now you've turned to the savers of Canabras, Knights of the Fifth Crusade, marked by Aomide's blessing, and you still came to help him dig through a pile of junk? <laughs> Let's not talk about it. I assure you, I'm the same, Sela, your friend from the League of the Cart, and we came here to help you look for Elin's ring. By the way, where's Curl? He didn't come with us. He said an old wound was acting up. All right, my friends, since we're here, let's finish the mission quickly. I really don't feel comfortable bothering the Knight Commander with my personal problems. All right, so what does the ring look like? What should we look for? The last time I saw a ring, it was with my things in a traveling chest. Now the camp's in total disarray. I don't know how we'll ever find it. The ring is made of shiny silver metal with a deep blue-green jewel. You can't miss it. Master Derek is not just a jeweler, he's an artist. There's no mistaking one of his creations. Sounds delightful. I wish I possessed one of Master Derek's fine works. I've seen them from afar, worn by visitors of the Gwerm Mansion, but I've never held one before. I was never allowed to approach important guests. I'm not one for florid compliments, my lady, but I suspect the Master would happily give you one of his works as a gift. He does that from time to time when he meets someone whose beauty inspires him. Thank you, sir. Alright, uh, is there something wrong, Elin? Am I making you nervous? Uh, I apologize. Jenna is right. Much has changed since we met in Canabras. Some things for the better, some not at all. Well, all right. Off we go. Jenna and I will look around the northern side. We'll see you when we find something or when you give up trying. Now, that makes me think that um, he is going to maybe betray us. I don't know. There. I want you there. I, want you there. I forgot. Well, he's a cleric, My right? Will is resolute. Yeah, so he can go in the back. So he can go in the back. All right. Yeah, I've got my keyboard on this side, too. So I might have to rearrange some stuff as it goes. But who knows? Is that a trap? Well, there is a old map. Okay, Let's so see what we can do. This is full of deer. Oh, knowledge world. Call me again if you need to. Okay. Why am I running all the way around for that? Melted shard of ring. That will go to the storyteller when I see him next. Oh. Why is there an imp here? Aquisite demon. It's mine, mine. Elan, look, look at that creepy thing. What's it holding? I've seen one of those before. The small demons like these like to tease and bully, but it'll bolt its senses any real threat. Let's surround it and tack all together before it can figure out what's happening. Oof, color spray just knocked them out quick. Mine! Mine, mine! Ella and Jenna, 
They're all right. They'll come around soon. Quickly, Fisher. Let's catch the little rascal before it runs off with the ring. Here we go. Uh, there you are. Okay, so how am I supposed to catch him? Can I? Might make you feel better. Okay, so I cannot attack him. Oh, there's Curl. Did he steal the ring back? Did he know it was going to happen? You mustn't get it. Curl, what are you? Okay. What did he do to the ring? Elan, stop. Have you gone mad? He's using a summon spell. Why did you stop? Some lovely prey just stepped into my trap. Oh, no, Elin, Sela, help. Damn it, I didn't sign up for this. All right, so something went on here. They will break against our resolve. Um, let's see. Cover me, all right? Okay. I got this. Into the fray. There goes that one. I always think the name is funny. Babu. Of course he misses. Um, yep. Cross the wrong mongrel. And you miss. And you miss. Stab you or zap you. You don't. Damn you. He just has some. Guide my blade. The spirits demand your blood. There we go. Elin, what were you doing? You nearly cut down Curl without a second thought, without a trial, without even knowing if he was responsible for all this. He might be a victim himself. What am I doing? He lured us into a trap. Curl was the only one who knew where he was, where we were going. He knew we thought there wouldn't be anyone at the cat besides some small, harmless demons. So he set a trap. I wouldn't be surprised if his demon masters had him targeting the commander from the start. Talk about believing in the redemption of scoundrels. We barely know anything about what happened. Curl is a good lad. He's not a spy or a murderer. Maybe they threatened him, tricked him, or even bewitched him with demon magic. And now we'll never know because you let him escape. Better to let, it, let a thief escape than cut down an innocent. Okay, Elin thinks. Sila was defending someone she thought was her friend. She stopped you from doing something you might regret. I don't need a shepherd to light my path and save me from regrets. Can you say the same, Sila, or you, Commander? You clearly have something to say. Go ahead and spit it out. Sila, I don't want to say this, but I think you as my friend, but I think of you as my friend, so I'm going to warn you. After what happened at the Great Garrison, you're in serious danger, and maybe not just to you. You might not like to ignore military hierarchy and the rules of the knightly orders, but there's wisdom in them that has stood the test of time. A soldier rises from, from a private to an officer, a knight begins as a squire, even Iomedes paladins gain their abilities gradually. But not with you and the commander. You were granted incredible powers, far surpassing seasoned paladins with experience and skill far beyond your years. You received this gift at just the right moment and saved a lot of lives across Medivh. That's a great deed that will be remembered for ages to come. But what happened next was wrong. They began to worship you. The queen gave you such vast power, all while you sidestepped everything. Training, experience, hardship. This is not the first time Her Majesty has behaved rashly. And how much good has this brought Medivh? I'm frightened but what I see. 
Especially by the way you, Sila, trust people so easily and leap into, the, into adventures without looking. One day you'll lower your sword when you should have driven the blade home, just like thousands of bright-eyed youngsters will after you. I wanted to tell you the same thing, Commander. You're right to an extent, Elan, but I didn't choose my lot, and I'm just going to fulfill my duty as best I can. I apologize for my harsh words. I said it to Sila, and I'll say it again. This wasn't a reproach, but a warning. The power you've been given, it may be your undoing and the undoing of all the Crusaders along with you. Don't be afraid of what's new and unknown. We just need to bear in mind our responsibilities. Whatever was given to us, we can use it for good. In any case, forgive me for wasting your time and subjecting you to danger here. Now, at least we know that Carl is a traitor and Janna is a coward, ready to abandon her friends when the going gets rough. I hope you'll all learn a lesson from these mistakes. As for the blasted ring, to hell with it. Kayana won't love me solely for the gifts I bring her. Everything's becoming very complicated all of a sudden. Please. Let's go back. I'd like to talk to you about it. Later, I have a lot to think about. Okay, I don't think that that was uh, Curl's doing. I am helpful. Am I not? That may not even have been Curl. Yeah, there's a hat. Hat of heartening song. Oh. I need a bard. Okay, so let's check the tent. Save the last one for me. All right, so more battles. Ow! Ow! Distract them for me. You won't survive me. Well, that didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Okay, well there is a spot over here. I can handle it. For mobility. Looks like there's All something right. over here. Now what is that? Yeah. A heavy shield. Called the Divine Protector. I think um, she can use that, can't she? Oh, all right. I don't. I don't have her. All right. There's a half plate of vigor, which is actually a lot better than what I've got. Um. This is heavy shield, damage resistance, boom. As well as, oh, well. Um, I don't really think, I'm, see this is a hat of uh, uh, barding. So whenever the word this hat uses any song, this song also grants fast healing one at level one, fast healing two. Oh, that's really awesome. I wish I had a bard. I may have to create a bard. I wish I, I got a character to come with me that was a bard, but you know. The demons wait. Oh well, that looks to be everything. Oh, I, I guess there was a actual ring on the ground. I did not know. Okay, and I don't know exactly what that is. See, I already went to there, I already went to there. Is that my main camp? I think, yeah, this is my main camp. So I can I can rest here easily without having to worry about anything and actually lower my um, corruption level. Uh, 
little bit of loot right there. Nice. So what, do you sell stuff here? No. Wilser? Garms? The camp quartermaster. I saw you talk to a girl hiding her face. What was she and what she want? I don't know, Commander. She never introduced herself, but it's not a part of our army. I know all of our soldiers by name and sight. Okay. What do campers uh, think about me? All right. How are things in the camp? Everything's doing good. I'm doing great. Uh, equip the soldiers as you see fit. That's more like it. I'll make sure the troops have everything they need and then some. An army moves faster if it has flat, fleet footed scouts. Okay, yep, yep, yep. Uh, tell me about yourself so we can get that out the way and show me what you got. And then we're going to sell some bulk stuff. And things that are not needed. Jeez, I had a lot of those, didn't I? Huh. Okay, Double Jeopardy Great Club. There's the Painful Remorse Heavy Shield. That's actually not bad at all. It's a spiked shield. Flowing Scales, medium armor. It's plus two scale mail gives the attacks against its weir plus 10% chance to miss due to concealment. That's pretty good. It looks like he's got a whole bunch of level one stuff. Not level one, but like plus one stuff. Nothing of like true... Um, you know. Dawn of Life Tower Shield. Like I wish I could do it like, I don't, I don't know, type in ascending order. Axomatic Punching Dagger plus one. Nice. Oh. Deal. Okay. Well, that tells me that. I need to go find... How about you, Blacksmith? Is there anything... Yep, you just have regular stuff here. Nothing too fancy. Just some cold iron stuff. Yep, yep, yep. Nothing too great. Hawk Blade. Um, this is... That's the chapel tent. Um, I don't know where... I can't remember exactly where Sela is. Let's look here. Sela is over there. So I might as well go ahead and go talk to her since we just did what she needed to do. And there you go. Yep, yep. Don't lose your trust in people. Of course not. You know. Let's see what we can do. That's the field medic. Forgot where's mine. That's the chapel tent. Well, I guess we can go in there and talk to Cecil. I think he's in here, right? Or maybe he's not. He's not. Um, is that? Nope. Oh. Yep, there's Erebeth. There's a. Oh, I'll take that. I oh, might as well go ahead and grab that too. Every little bit helps. Okay, there's my tent. And I might as well just go ahead and collect everything now. And I'll just do that. And we're going to go ahead and rest. Let's go ahead and do that. I don't my know... My sword is an extension of my arm. My sword is an extension of my arm. So, is my plumage an extension of my head? The fuck is Zilla? Yes. It is. Um, do I have anything special in here that I need? I don't think so. 
Not at the moment. Yep, I think that might be good for now. I've got this little thing here, but I need more of those. For it to really matter, I guess. Well, let's go let's go sell some stuff real quick. Um, and then I guess we are going to go from there. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Yep. I think I can yep, go to her because I might as well give her that since she is actually a witch. Oh. I don't know who I want to take with me though. I really don't. All right. Can you? I'm just trying to find the way out here, buddy. All right, well, I got some some more like random crap, so Alright, so I think the way out is over this way. Okay, I don't know if I want him or not. I definitely want him. Um, I definitely want her. He's supposed to be pretty good as a healer, but he's a good healer too. And I don't I don't know. Like I just I just don't know. I don't know. I don't I don't know. I don't I don't know. We'll, we'll just go with this for now. So, we'll see how well it runs out. And if it doesn't run out very good, then hey, that's just kind of... Oh, what? I don't, I don't understand what that means. I think this is a roving. We won't fall here. I swear it. Oh, these are just regular people. Oh well. Time to share your treasures. Uh. Ow. Uh. Caught me with a sneak attack, uh. asshole. There's... Are yep. you still here? Ha. Yeah, oh. I can't go very far. I'd love to give him like a better weapon. I'd love to give everybody a better weapon at this point. I really just I really can't though. Where'd you go? That sucks. I don't... I might as well. Okay, I think he can probably see him. Every strike count. Yep. There we go. Concealment sucks. Oh, is there like... No, nothing really over there. I 
So I guess this was just like a random area, but like I'm right next to something that's actually on there. See? These little demons or whatever. Okay, so can I like... I don't know what this means. So my demon army is about, I mean, my army is about to go against the demons. So I don't know what that means. Okay, your army is engaged in battle. The enemy army is displayed on the right and the crusader army is on the left. Battles are played out in turn-based mode. The turn order is displayed on the top of the screen. Units with high in initiative act first. Once all units have taken their turn, a new round begins and the or turn order is repeated. Uh, okay, oh, yep, yep, yep. Attack damage. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. One damage. I'm going to be surrounded. I know that. Okay, well, there's that. Alright, well, getting them from the back is actually very helpful here. There we go. Nice, we got a victory there. I don't really know what that means, but you had defeated your first enemy army and received a number of finance points. You can use these finance points to hire a general for your army. This can be done by accessing the army window in the left corner of the screen. I guess it's all the way back up there. Generals can use various spells and abilities in combat, blah, blah, blah. Generals cannot be killed. Okay, yep, all right. Interesting, interesting. I got 600 finance points. That didn't allow me to get a general. Okay, so I have two, but he needs to protect. All right, well, I'm going to go Nightingale Grove. Uh-oh, but there's somebody else in the road. Alright, let's see who is in the road. Asti, Tran, and Vellum. Through the mist, you spot the flickering flames of a campfire. Three figures wrapped in crusader cloaks are huddled next to it. A stout, smiling dwarf, a brash, dark-haired halfling, and a delicate-looking woman who appears to be very young. The crackling campfire is driving away the bleak fog and promising warmth and rest for tired legs. Oh, okay, so I don't think I have world knowledge, but I do have perception. Um, hey, it's Commander himself. Don't just stand there and have a seat by the fire. It's a bit damp today. You might as well dry off at least. The location of the camp was chosen, chosen wisely. It's safe and quiet here. No tracks in sight and the air is calm, but an odd feeling of wrongness lances through you like a sting from an angry wasp. Something isn't right. It's quiet here, all right. That's the grave. I don't know why, but I don't like to feel this place. It makes my scales stand on end. Well, I did succeed that. Frontline scouting party. Our senior sent us ahead to look for ambushes. We've been walking all day, so we're making a biovac. Go ahead, help yourself to some tea. It's an honor for us to be sharing campfire with the commander. Something in a way the halfling speaks sounds off. Senior instead of commanding officer. A biovac instead of the more casual camp. Maybe he's just a new recruit. I never thought we'd run into such jovial company out here. I don't suppose you guys have anything stronger than tea in your canteens. Uh, Chief, just so you know, walking away from campfires where folks give you free food is a sin in the eyes of gods. Alright, what are your names? I'm Sergeant Velm, the leader of this gang of daredevils. Um, why why would you call a heroic squad a gang, Velm? I'm Tran, foot soldier, cook, quartermaster, and mother hen of this lot. Uh. Alright, right, okay. 
I am Asti, pleased to... I mean, at your service, Commander. Aren't you scared? You wound me, Commander. I've walked many roads. I know a good spot of the camp when I see one. Even if the whole column of cultists marched by, they wouldn't think of checking this place. In the meantime, we would watch quietly and count every last one. Huh. Alright, well, since he's offering, let's sit down. They don't seem to be bad people. Okay, you bet we're offering. Okay, so Lord Nature 20, where'd you get this exciting tea? I can tell the commander knows more about cooking than some. It's cat holly. I bought it from a merchant from Absalom. Worth every coin, though, huh? Cat's holly. The name sounds vaguely familiar, but you've never heard of it being used in cooking. You seem to recall it causes delirium. Apparently, being this far away from the discipline of strict officers, the scouts decide to indulge in some happy dreams. All right, Commander, if you don't mind, I could heal your wounds and maybe cast a fortifying spell. All right. Okay, we have they have good rapport. Asti, her face a deep red, shoots strand a furious look and flashes him a surprisingly nasty expression. For a moment, her mouth appears as though it's filled with sharp teeth, and her blessing skin is nothing more than a layer of powder caked over lifeless gray skin underneath. But you blink, and the illusion is gone. All right. I would appreciate it. So I do get bless. Um, as these magic expels, the pain from the long walk from your legs and your recent wounds cease to ache. Your chest expands freely and your arms feel full of unyielding strength that could crush any obstacle. The warmth of the magic suffuses through your soldiers, envelops your throat, and wraps itself around you. <coughs> Softly but firmly, it, its crest grows stronger and stronger, tighter and tighter until you can't breathe. Your recently healed wounds reopen, soaking your clothes with blood. Poisonous foam bubbles in your stomach and retching painfully. You vomit up the vile liquid, liquid you've been given. Ah. Figures by the fire ripple and transform. Three gray-haired and dark-skinned elves watch you with mocking sneers. Their twisted grimaces face look demonic. From the haze, more previously unseen shadows materialize. They're just as some loathsome and unsettling. The campfire emits a sickly, sweet, intoxicating smell, and then squat kettle, you see some slimy mushrooms swimming in a disgusting, boiling slurry. What was the point of the charade? Lady enemy desires your head and will gladly deliver it. You monsters! How did I not see you for what you are right from the start? Dumb paladin, you think your ability to sense evil can be fooled? Lady Anamora taught us long ago how to trick the likes of you. Alright, so, uh, who are you? Who are you? We are servants of Lord Discari, and you're the pitiful insect that caught in our web. Alright. Can we retreat already? So I actually have a debuff. And that's cor uh, Curse of Weakness. Wow. Cover me, all right. I got hit pretty hard there, didn't I? Well, um. Good guys always win. Yeah, still got that Curse of Weakness. Nice thundering blow works. I don't... Just, he should have um, Restore, right? I did give him... Yeah, let's try that and see if it works. It's probably not. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. Oh, there was more. Yeah, I don't think she has anything that can help out either. The light take you. Oh, there's it. An archer up there. Um, Into the fray. Crossbowman. Stab you or zap you? Why not both? Ow. Nope. Go for 
for their heart. And of course I miss. I will bring down the So there's a wrath. couple of crossbowmen up there. That really kinda sucks. But that's okay. You won't survive me. Long can get him. Isn't there another crossbowman over there though? Oh well. We'll run up there real quick and let's see what we can do. Kill them. Kill whatever is up there. There they are. I might be too far away. Well, at least I don't have uh, my curse of weakness anymore. <clears throat> I've been watching a lot of stuff okay, on YouTube about <clears throat> different builds and stuff like that. And one of the main builds that I was thinking about is um, a uh, sword saint. What do we have here? Um, Duelist. Sword Saints are actually really cool. Um, they're Maguses, but they don't use. Um, might be trap, might be treasure. Uh, they don't use armor. Oh man, I am. <clears throat> I guess I am a lot more tired than I thought I was. I know Rocky's been up in my butt all day. I got a whole bunch of stuff done. But Rocky just wants to go cuddle. Like, he gets angry at me if he doesn't get to cuddle. It's so weird. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Um, can I? Ninio's favorite dish. Uh, what is that? Regils? I don't even have have a regil on my party right yet. We can go spicy pastry. Yes. Boom. Yeah. Well, I did want to try out some different classes and stuff like that. Because I say like monk is really kind of one of the hardest classes to do in this game. Like in the last game, like monks were completely OP. Um, but this game, they're not as as strong or um, useful, I guess. Um, I don't know. Like, I've heard some mixed reviews. Yours will watch me. Wait, someone's here. Run! Is that Carl? Nobody's running. Draw your weapons to fight your cars, or I'll cut you down myself. Okay. We've got some marauders. Who's giant sized? Marauder Alchemist. All right, well, you've crossed the wrong mongrel. Can I charge? You yes I can. <clears throat> Bam. 
I do like charge. I, I really, I really do. I don't know. Can you, can you maybe charge? Nope. You cannot. <clears throat> I've got to have uh, dimensional retribution. I don't really have any spellcasters, though, that I'm trying to go for. I mean, like, I might as well. Why are you not letting me click on that? The spirits demand your blood. I don't know about that. Oh, there was a guy over there. Is that? No, it's just a marauder leader. Okay. I thought it was Coral. Ow, 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 ow. Well, that didn't go the way he wanted it to. Got him with attack of opportunity. Time to share your treasures. All right. Huh. Well, I got some. That's actually some rare stuff. Okay, I'll look at it as soon as I get everything else. Letter to Noble Crusader. Gotta make sure there's no, nothing hidden over here. You know how it works out. I always like to put something hidden around. Well, that looks good. So. Um, let's look at this letter to Noble real quick. Sir William. Okay. And then we've got the Momentum Light Hammer. That sounds pretty cool. A um, chain shirt plus one. Um, we've got Blood Clarity. Whenever the wearer of this cloak of resistance plus two lands a killing blow, they gain immunity to mind afflicting co uh, conditions for three rounds. Cloak of Resistance plus one. I thought we got another light hammer as well. Was I was I wrong? I thought we got two of them. Um, I don't know. Maybe I was wrong. Yeah, I really thought that that I got two of them. Oh yeah, they're right here. The light hammer plus one. Boo. Just just boo. Okay, so uh, I already have a uh, cloak of resistance plus one. Uh, Lon has got the cloak of disguise. Um, I, I think I'm going to go ahead and give him. Well, no, I'm going to give you this cloak, and then Sheila's got cloak of resistance plus two. I'm going to go ahead and give my cleric that one. And he can use um, that. He can't use any armor. He can't use any armor. She can, but I've got a better um, better shirt for her right now. Well, all right. Um, I guess that was kind of fruitful. Because we got some stuff out of it. Has reached the troops with a chest full of gold coins and messes from... Sh uh. Okay, if two of your armies stand next to each other in the global map, you can transfer units between them by clicking the button that appears next to the army's name. Upon exchanging troops, the number of movement points for each army will become equal to the lowest value. Okay. I don't know how to get um, a general. Yeah. 
I guess it is what it is. Maybe I can be a general. Traveling merchant. Do you want to meet with him? I wonder if it's the same dude. Yes, it is. It's the skeletal salesman. Good evening to you there. Or is this what days look like in your world wound? I can't really tell. But no matter. Be it day or night, the skeletal salesman always has the best deals you can find anywhere. All right. Like, okay, give me a free sample. I got a scroll of Heroism Greater. What do you sell? A whole bunch of everything. Personally, protection equipment. It's like, what do you sell now? It depends. Right now, I'm selling personal protection equipment. Exotic wares. Okay. All right. Yeah, we kind of learned a little bit about his past. Uh. Yep. Oh, I have to have the Lich Mythic Pack path for this. But, but for this. Nice. Let me try to free you. No, thanks. Been there, done that. Only, okay. Uh, okay, well, he pretty much uh, trades with everybody. Show me your wares. Bulk selling. Get rid of all that. Oh, shock quarterstaff plus two. Braces of armor, Haramaki plus two. Natural armor, Alluring Charisma, Flaming Light Crossbow. Okay, do I have enough for that? I guess I do. Charisma would be good too. Fast Intelligence. Inspired Wisdom. I'm going to go that route. Oh, I can't. I could do this, but I can't do the other. Well, that kind of sucks. Okay, so there we go. I got that. So I got something that I can use at the very least, because that's a plus um, four, which is actually better than what I've got. Boom. And then I'm going to go ahead and, okay, right, he's already got the braces of armor plus two, braces of armor plus one. She's got exorcist bracers. So I will give her the lucky bracers Could you please keep this ugly thing away from me oh she can't that's weird and neither can he really uh, maybe later huh so I guess these can only be worn by me oh because they're engraved I guess oh well oh well there's his nightmare horses. Um, I'm gonna, uh -oh. those are the nameless ruins. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and go. Maybe I can be a general. I don't know. I guess not. I'm going to need to get some more... Uh... Ow. I feel like I may may lose this one. I'm trying to go after his backside. I don't think I can though. Oh yeah, I'm probably going to lose this one. 
Can I retreat? Yeah, I lost 80. Sign or recruit new general. Okay, yeah, okay, there. I guess that's how I'm supposed to do it. Um, and these are the only four that I have, which I have archers, I have uh, master maneuver, scorching ray, defensive training, attack formation. Intimidation, explosive trap. Okay, and he's basically the same thing. Prepared scouts. Can I grab something? Spellcraft. All units in the army get plus five bonus to AC against ranged attacks. Receive a minus one penalty to speed and minus two penalty initiative. No. Uh. Six thousand. I thought it was like five. Oh, okay. So. That really sucks. Okay. Okay, well, you know what? I'm going to end this video here. Um, I'm going to probably make me something to eat. or And I may either that or go to bed. I don't know. I don't know. But I did quite a bit um, today, and I still have a lot to go. Um, so I may do some stuff behind the scenes. Because there's quite a few places that I need to try to get. Um, Dresden, I have to try to get there with my war battle and do all that stuff. So it looks like I'm pretty much following this road. So it doesn't really bother me too much. Uh, we will get there. I just kind of wish that... Um, I don't know. I knew what I was doing at the moment, but I don't. Okay, but um, if you made this far, hey, thanks for watching. I appreciate all the, uh, the stuff and the paying attention and the weirdness that we've got going on right now. Hopefully you enjoy the game. I really do, and I hope to get to see you soon. We're right back in the next one. So be kind to each other.